The daily appearances in court have been an ordeal for Maurice Papon, who's now 87. In old age, he's haunted by what he did as second in command of Bordeaux under the wartime Vichy government. He's denied responsibility for deporting Jews to their deaths, arguing that he never knew of the existence of Nazi death camps or the plan to exterminate all Jews. Jews gathered at the court are sure that Papon and his Vichy colleagues are guilty. We didn't see uh, anybody except uh, French uniforms to come and to arrest often brutally and to deliver to the Germans uh, uh, our parents, our brothers and sisters. As the long trial drew to an end, Jews outside the courthouse recited the names of all of Papon's alleged victims. These people believe this trial has changed the way France looks at its own history, bringing at least an acknowledgement that French police, not Nazi troops, arrested many Jews who died in the Holocaust. A flower for each of the 1,600 Jews deported, most of them to Auschwitz, where they were exterminated. Whatever the outcome for Papon, it's almost certainly the last time such a trial will force such a painful re-examination of the French national conscience.